Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet. Today's video is a little different. Uh, it's actually going to be something we talked about before, way back in September, when the new reel mechanics changed. But I've had a few questions about it, and I've had uh, somebody link me a post that was in a uh, Fishing Planet group, and it had some subpar information in it. And a lot of people arguing about max drag setups and whether they're not they're possible or not. Everybody seems to think they're not possible, but if you've been around the channel, by the way, I hate to say this, but if you were subscribed to the channel, which hopefully you are, you would have seen this three months ago uh, when they changed the real mechanics out. So for you guys, some of this might be not super new to you, but max drag setups are 100% totally possible, at least on PlayStation. I'm assuming everywhere, uh, even though some people might not know how to use it. But I uh, put out a video on the new mechanics when it came out talking about how max drag was still 100% possible. I'll show a picture of it. In and I'll leave it linked down below if you want to get more into the mechanics and how it works. This video, I'm just going to show it in a, in a quick, you know, quick video. I'll try to not make it very long. Here is the old Max Drag setup I used to use all the time. The reason I don't do it as often anymore is it wears out your reel really quick. Um, and uh, in just as an example, I use it this weekend. Now, why have I, did I use it this weekend, last weekend in the tournament and not normally i was hoping to win this tournament this weekend that's what i was trying to uh you know i was try harding <laughs> so normally i don't care whether i win or lose stuff so but you know uh i was i was actually trying to do well and we did get second so uh in the final so it, it worked uh, but that being said this is just a normal old max drag setup here guys right 40, 45 uh, reel. Uh, you guys have seen this use this a kajillion times. It's the most used thing here ever. Now, hopefully, uh, it will cooperate and I'll get a fish right away. Now, one thing that I'm going to do here as I'm casting is I have my drag down set low. And why is that? Because of the angle of the pole and um, in, in, in the, your line doesn't matter so you don't want this thing to be uh full drag right away when you do hook something up but you're gonna see here hopefully there we go we got something now i turn it up and i turn my drag up and you can see the fish can't fight me and it's still max drag guys now let's this guy really isn't fighting too hard maybe we'll try it again here but i want to be very clear you max drag is still power uh still usable and, and I explained the mechanics in that video where you want to see why it is. Because I did a lot of testing to come up with that theory. And I said it was going to be used in comps a lot. And, of course, it has been. But, um, it, and the reason it works is is because everybody thinks um, the, the mechanics broke the reel. It's not it. But, like I said, you should watch that video. There's no reason I'm doing it twice. Um, but... Let me see if I can get a big fish on here. Give me one second. All right, there is the unique. And you can see I turned the high drag up. Once he got on, he can't get away now. Um, you do have to be careful with this on max drag. It does wear out your pole. And if a fish is big enough, it can still put that tension on your line and your pole and really hurt it. But this is definitely unique. There we go. And you can see there... I caught it. I could do it again, and maybe here. Let's actually head over here and see if we get a. Um, we could go put on a musky real quick, um, but it is still 100% possible, and we'll we'll even stay on anchor. Or we'll stay anchored just so you can see it. Um, but yeah, you can still 100% max drag, guys. And I talked about it back then. Uh, so if you want to know more about the mechanics on that. Uh, you can just make sure you take your drag down after every cast. That's the one thing I didn't notice because if it does hook up, if a fish hooks up here like this and you have your line down, sometimes it can pull it off. I mean, you can get you can get all the tension on your line. And, and 
the reason I'm doing this video, guys, is because I believe it is an intended uh, mechanic. There we go. Let's do it again so you can see. It, intended mechanic of Fishing Planet. This is how reels work in real life. This isn't super 100% realistic on how, how everything works. Um, but I feel like this is what M Fishing Planet was, you know, intending for is when that you reel, um, when you do have your reel max dragged, that the fish cannot, you know, it locks the reel. You can't get it away and you do just pull it in. Um, but like I said, if you want to see more on all the new mechanics of the poles, because I feel like there might not be a super amazing understanding on it, um, Go ahead and back and watch that video, uh, and hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.